hi guys i wish to take you through a quick guide on adobe page maker or adobe page maker as you can call it therefore you launch adobe page maker therefore this is adobe uh, page maker launching then at uh, the next thing you usually see the templates dialog box this one you can just cross it but don't cross the panel and also the color panel these two also don't cross the toolbox therefore the first thing to note is uh, the toolbox therefore i will take you through the toolbox therefore if you press the cursor here this is the the hard tool the zoom tool these are uh, polygons or auto shapes or auto shapes or uh, solids then this is lines these are lines for drawing lines then we have this one is rotative flip you can rotate it this is the crop crop tool this is the selector or pointer and this is the text therefore as we proceed you'll be in a position to see how these tools are used and therefore to start on a project or to start on a document in adobe page maker you usually hit this button or you can just go to fire then new therefore you can also do that then when you click on file new you usually get this dialog box therefore you can adjust your page size accordingly like now i want a4 then you can adjust these ones uh, as instructed or as you wish then you click on ok therefore when you click on ok you usually you should see this page here you can remove this one you can take this one uh, somewhere here there and uh, therefore this is what you usually have as the, the screen where you work therefore de then down here we have the left master page and the right master page these are the master pages you can use master pages to accomplish a number of tasks for example if i want my even page and my odd page to have different background then you can work on them on this you can put a different background on the uh, right master left master page and different in the right master page so that they alternate even odd pages then here down here i have my my i have my page one where i can right click and add another page therefore in search to after can you do that therefore you can see i have that one but uh, to some extent i may not need to have the facing pages or i may wish to have facing pages therefore then the next thing to do after in case in case you want to uh, draw something here like here you can just for example draw a rectangle there then go to elements then fill that is stroke then you can increase the the width of that in case i want to apply color i just go to the same but this time around i choose fill and stroke then i go to there is two sections fill uh, and then stroke therefore i can choose the color of the stroke like that then i can also opt to draw another one like that then i do the same go to fill and stroke this time around i want it to be blue therefore and also you can increase the size like that therefore in case i want to select anything here i hit the selector then select this one like now if i want to pull this one to that edge like that therefore you see how that one works fine like that then in case i want to type some text inside here therefore i usually take the text tool here and then you can drag and then as you type you may not see this you need to zoom therefore you can take the zoom and zoom like, like i am doing then you take your hand tool this is the hand tool and then pull that way to bring your working area to where you want therefore i return my hand my hand tool then i all right, just take the selector then i take the text box then i can now be in a position to type uh, whatever I want the Kenya National Examination Council that way. then you can also be in a position to uh, do more typing like for example you can just type that 
we need that candidates candidates are expected are expected to use database management system that way then if for example i want to put this one drop cap i highlight this c then i can just go to utilities i just need to have the drop cap the, to insert the drop cap here for so just check on where you get the the drop cap should be here if i just go to plugins then i can check drop cap drop cap then how many lines do you want to drop i want you to drop three lines apply cross that way therefore so far you have seen how to use the selector how to use the text box how to use the zoom and also how to use the hand tool uh, alternatively we can also i can also take you through how to do some uh, some that is some of these uh, outer shapes therefore you can just hit the this one and then you see it's rotating therefore this is the work of the rotating tool this one is used to crop images and therefore this one is used to do a bit of rotate rotation then it's also important for you to note that uh, you can have this one and then apply the color here you can see you can apply these colors given here from uh, this panel and then uh, you are good to go as far as you want to uh, that is to work on this then when you want to insert something like a, uh, when you want to, to insert an image uh, you just go to this point edit and then you just go to insert uh, insert image then you can choose in the best way to do that is to use the microsoft document of which you can see 97 and 2003 are the ones that are supported therefore let's just try to use this one and see and this one this is the general microsoft word then i just go to insert then i go to picture then after i get go to picture i can be in a position to insert a picture like this one i hit on that one then I just go to fire cross and then you wait therefore you notice that uh, our image should be somewhere here this is our image therefore our image has been inserted so I can just crop like that you see that is the crop tool therefore you can use the crop tool to crop that one you can also use this one to, to work on the picture in case you want it inverted or rotated as you can see therefore that is the work of the rotation uh, flip or the rotation uh, button then to select i just go back and uh, bring this then it's also important to notice that um, there is these buttons here that you can use as shortcut like the text wrap uh, in case you have much writing here uh, you can just do text wrap like for example you can just try to uh, do a bit of inserting text like we can use the we can try to see whether this one will really work this one for the adobe page maker Portable. let's see whether it can work for that one is not helping us for now it's, it's just for first of all just fix this the way it was and then we take our text we bring our text somewhere there if i can still try to use this one whereby we have that photo of ours placed there then it, it we uh, try to check therefore when you talk about text wrap these are the text traps that are available like for example you see that one you can try that one you see that one works it has display uh, displayed it has display displaced our text you see it is displaying our text then you can also talk about um, uh, having this diagram of ours ours then go to uh, text wrap 
then we can try to have this one applied for you see there is something that is actually uh, happening that text is uh, is now not compatible with the photograph then we can also try another text wrap like uh, this one this one is inactive You see now our text, our picture can move depending on the uh, on the kind of text box that uh, you choose. Then you can also try to go through. Like now we have the the character specifications. When you go to the type here, you can see we have the font. If you want to change the font, this is where we have alignment, style, uh, paragraph, character indents, hyphenation. Uh, expert tracking and canning therefore these are some of the features that are very important when it comes to use of adobe Image maker and therefore that was just a a short video on how adobe page maker works in my next uh, series i will create something like a document or a certificate using adobe page maker and therefore thank you very much for watching See you in my next session.